Hey guys, welcome back to Bali Piano. Here's part two of Anbe per Anbe. Here we go. Okay, we'll look at this first. So we're covering the verse and the chorus over here. So once again, in the left hand, all we're doing is playing either C minor or F minor, which makes our life a lot easier. So we can really just focus on what the right hand is doing. Placing our pinky finger on G in the right hand, with the counts, it sounds like this. One, and two, and three, and four and one, and a two, and three, and a four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and a two, and three, and a four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and a two, and three, and a four. Okay, so it essentially just repeats three times. Let's just try it once without the counts. Here we go. Alright, moving on we have one and a two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four e and a one, two, three, four. Once with other counts, here we go. And we repeat that one more time. So let's just try it again without the counts. All right, so in the last bar, all we're doing is just holding down on C instead of doing this again. Okay. Okay. So in the left hand, uh, there's a common pattern throughout the throughout this part, and how it goes is we're going to be playing C minor throughout the whole bar, two, three, four, just like that, and then we're going to be playing two beats of C minor, followed by two beats of F minor. Okay. So once again, one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Repeat one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and so on. So all you have to do is just now put the right and the left hand together. Okay, once you're familiar with the timing of the left hand and the right hand melody, then try and put both hands together slowly, just like this. Here we go.
Okay, so what happens now is we repeat the section again, but this time we just play half of it and then go straight to the ending. So I'll just demonstrate that one more time, showing you how the second half will go. Here we go. Okay, so notice how we skipped this part over here. We just skipped that entire part and just went straight into. Okay. Moving on, we have another instrumental and it sounds like this. Okay, so notice how the left hand continues with the same progression, which is C minor for four beats, then two beats of C minor again, followed by two beats of F minor. Okay, and in the right hand, we're going to be starting off with playing G with our thumb, and it'll go like this. One and two, E and three and four and a one and two E and three and four. We we'll repeat that one more time. One and two E and three and four and a one and two E and three and four. Once with other counts. All right, moving on, we have one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and a four. We repeat the first bar again. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Once without the counts. Okay, so now all we got to do is just add on the left hand chords. So let's just try it out very slowly. Here we go. All right, notice how in the last bar, we didn't have any left hand chords being played. It's just the right hand. Before we go back into. Which we've already covered in part one. All right, there you have it. This is the first set of verse and chorus as well as the instrumental 
and I'll see you guys very soon for another set of verse and chorus. Thank you very much for listening and see you guys soon.